I can never reach this button. Go. No, hang on. Okay. So my phone's in a little clamp and I can't reach around it to press the button to say, yes, recording's okay. All right, so today, mermaids and monsters. So we're just gonna have fun and we're just going to mess around with a few different shapes and things. Um, so let's start with some mermaids. Um, and just like when we're drawing people, we just wanna start with like a head shape. Just get a rough circle and then leave a little gap for the neck and do like a small triangle kind of shape for the top half of the body, the human part of the body. I'll zoom in a little bit. My light's under there. Okay, and then so under that for the hip section, which is the start of the fish body, I'm just gonna do another circle. So it's like a little, little balancing act, little ball, triangle balancing on a ball. And for the tail, I could just draw a line, but I'm just gonna draw sort of the shape of where I want it to go. Sort of a big S kind of shape. So I'm imagining that that's the spine of the fish going down. And then to fill that in, I'll come from sides of the hip like that and I'll come around and I'll get thinner and thinner as I go down. So I'm just going to turn my page a little bit. So I'll, I'll do both sides sort of at the same time, do one side and the other, making sure that it's even the mounts on either side. See how I did that? I sort of guess this width here. I sort of went, oh, I want to get that width the same on this side. So I sort of looked at it and then looked at that side, put a few little dots and then tapered down. So then I'll do the same down here. It's only short there. Let's turn it around so you can see a bit better. Get my light over here, actually. Okay. So see how I've got this little line here? That's the thickness of the half of the tail. So I want to make it the same thickness on this side. So that's where I'll meet up with the other end of the tail. And then I just bring it down to a point on either side. So now we can I could rub out this line or that construction because we don't need that anymore. The rest of that circle. You could even turn this into a snake person. Make it a snake body, put a rattle on the end or put a cobra hood on there. So you can make a monster out of this one. Mermaids are monsters too. Okay, so everyone got that? Yep. So um, we'll just do a stick figure arms from now. A little circle for the hand. Let's get too bright on the page. And maybe this one can be reaching out. Okay. See, if there's anyone there that doesn't want to draw a mermaid, try to turn this into a snake person. You could make the tail a bit longer. Instead of doing a human face, you could do a snake face. Um, let's go back to the end of the tail and we'll put the fins in. So I'm gonna start right at the tip and I'm gonna draw a curvy line out. And that's gonna be a tip over here, a point. And I'll come back like that. So I want to sort of keep them the same size. So I'll try and draw them similar shapes. But you could make them 
the bits of the tail, these fins on the tail, you could make them more like a dolphin's tail or you could make them more like a goldfish's tail. So you could have them really long and flowing. Um, I like to draw little lines through them. I think Ariel, Disney princess, has lines like this through her tail. And they're sort of see-through a bit. Okay. Has everyone done the tail? No, I got a few nods. <laughs> Thanks for that, Paris. <laughs> okay. So let's focus back on the body. I'll zoom in a little bit. I can't zoom in too far because then I won't, won't be able to see under my camera. So this is going to be the human body. I might come out a bit. It's a very tiny waist there. I might come up a little bit from here, from the hips, and add in a little bit more body. So I'll rub out the end of the triangle on the top of the circle. Okay, Callum, that's why I wouldn't use textures because you can't rub out those bits. You'd have to just color it in to cover it up. And then I might thicken out the arms, give them some shoulders and the forearms. So what I'm doing is drawing around the, um, the stick figure arms. So I'm pretending the stick figure arms are bones and I'm drawing the flesh and the muscle around them. Aaron, do you have a question? Aaron, are you there? Do you want to unmute, Aaron? Nope, maybe he's walked away. Okay, we'll move on. Let's put his arm up. Okay, so go around one arm that you can see there, like that. Now I'm going to rub out the line in between, just so her arm is visible and no, there's no lines in the middle of her arms. Um, and you can draw a merman as well as a mermaid. Does that have to be a mermaid? <clears throat> Traditionally, it was just mermaids. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it was the sailors that would see the mermaids, and the sailors were usually men. But mer people um, can be a thing too. So again, I just drew around the stick figure arms, pretended they were bones, drew the skin around them, and then rubbed out the line in between. And I'm just gonna add in a neck as well. And join that up to the shoulders. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to do some hair. So I'm not going to draw the hair being flat straight down or you know, fuzzy, whatever, because she's underwater. So her hair is going to be flowing. So I'm just going to draw like a shape coming out here and around the top. So it's sort of like a, there's a curve there or maybe Sticks out like a, almost like a question mark if you look at it this way. Comes around and down. And on the top, I'll do something similar, but smaller. I might give her a little, her hair's broken up a bit. So I drew three of those sort of question marky S curves. One on the bottom, one on the top, 
one to join up from the bottom to the top, and then a slight curve that way. Four lines, one, two, three, four. And of course, I don't need to have the line going through her body. I will rub that out later. Um, but I could draw some hair coming across her face like that. Hold that up a bit. And then while we're looking at the face, why don't we divide it up down the middle and then across the middle from the top of the head, not from the fringe, top of the head to the chin, do a line across, find the middle point. So that's where her eyes are gonna go. So her hair is gonna be sort of covering one eye. Or you could do, the hair could be split in the middle, anything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put in where her eyes might be. So I'm drawing little arches on either side for the top of her eyes, like that. Yeah, you, um, Vani is right. <laughs> You could draw gender neutral mer people. Draw a mer person. Doesn't have to be a mermaid or a merman. It could just be a mer person. Uh, the next thing I'm going to draw is the pupils. So little circles. Okay. You could draw. I wonder what a mer dog would look like. It'd be like a dogfish, I guess, or a catfish. You could draw your mer person with a shark tail instead of a fish tail. Or as I said before, it could be a dolphin tail. The last part of the eyes, I'm just going to draw a line underneath the pupil, the circle. And then I'll colour in the eye and that would be about it. You could draw some eyelashes on there if you wanted. I'm just sort of going to keep it like that. I might shade in the pupils a bit. Add a highlight to one side. So I'm just going to draw a bit of a circle for a highlight, color in the rest. Circle for a highlight, color in the rest. There you go. Can you see that? Okay, then in the space below here, probably about halfway down, I'm going to draw a little bit of a nose and then the mouth. So for the nose, I'm just going to draw a little curve and a line up towards the eye, between the eye. And then for the mouth, I'll just do a small curve, a small smiley mouth. Like that. That's all it needs. You don't have to do lipstick and big lips and things like that, unless you want, unless that's the character you want to draw. It can just be simple like that. I'm gonna slightly change the shape of the head because the circle was just a guide. So I'm gonna come straight down near the eyes. See those darker lines, either side of the eyes? That's gonna be the side of the head. And then what I'm gonna do is add a bit of a curve, more of a curve to her cheek and add a chin down there. So curving down to chin. And then from the chin, I'll go back up. Curve it around up near the top there. Just clean it up a bit. There you go.
Okay, so let's rub out some of these lines we don't need now, like the line on the top of the head. I mean, the, the, the circle, the top of the head, we don't need anymore because her hair is covering that. Like so. And then we'll add a few little detail points and then we'll finish this one up. So you could draw on her chest so she's not naked. You could draw some clams, which is traditionally there, little clamshells or starfish or just a, a wrap of seaweed. Or they might even have clothing. Or you could do both. You could do shells on top of the, the wrap there. Little clamshells are sort of circular with a little um, foot at the end. It's the hinge. This is like a little foot hinge there. And then I'll just do a couple of lines. Uh, Aaron, you're back. Have you got a question? And then I draw a clam facing the other way on the other side. Aaron, do you want to unmute? I need this clam a bit smaller than the other. So Aaron, Aaron, just let me check the chat. I say it's not letting you talk. You can't unmute. Let me see what I can do. Uh, I can only ask you to unmute. I can't actually unmute you. You could try and leave and come back in. That might fix it. Oh, Aaron, you can ask question on on the chat. We just okay. asked it in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Which sure was easier. Oh, hang on. I'll open up the chat so I can see it pop up. Okay. okay. Yeah, just type your, chat, your question in the chat. I've got it open now. I can see it. Um, so then down here around the waist, we could draw um, some fins. So sort of come in towards the middle. And then once you're in the middle, you can then come back out again. Sort of like a really soft V. Um, and you could put a little belly button in there if you wanted, if you want to show her with a, a belly showing, or you could you could either draw like a dress or a shirt or something that comes down and covers that. But underneath those lines, I'm going to draw like a fin coming around her belly. I think this is the same as Ariel has that as well. Sort of like a, a loop. And then I'd rub out these lines of her body there and there. Uh, Mr. Evan? Yes. I was going to say that. Are we going to do mermaids and monsters today? Yes, that's correct. Okay. After this mermaid, we're going to be doing a monster. Oh, sorry, I hold that. Okay, everyone see the fin there that I did? And then little detail you can do on this. Um, I'll draw these big so you can see them, but on the the fish part, the scale part, you can draw little scales like this. They're like, I'll draw a big one here, like a U shape. But if you do two of them together and one underneath, or you could draw like that, or just two, or just one. <clears throat> so you can do little patterns of scales along the tail. You don't have to cover the whole thing, or you could actually, it looks really good sometimes when you do the whole tail covered in scales. And so we haven't done her hands. So I'm going to go back up to her hand. You could put little um, bracelets and things on made of coral or shells. You could put a little shell in her hair might do that or a starfish but for her hand i'm just going to we've got a little circle there 
So I'm just going to curve around like that, make a little curve on the top. And then I'm going to add a little sausage in for her thumb. Then inside the palm, if you look at, hang on, let me just pull out a little bit. So I'm doing the hand like this. You can see my hand. And so I'm going to do a curve there for this bit where it sort of folds over. You sometimes see the curve there. And that, if you look at your own hand, you can see that curve. But her hand's this way. So you see a little bit of the curve on this part of the hand. Always look at reference. Look at your own hand, look at other people's hands. Look at drawings of hands, look at photos of hands. And then I did a little bit of a line here for where the fingers start. And then I'm going to draw uh, two lines up to give her four fingers. You could draw three lines if you had room. And that way she'd have five fingers, but she now only has um, one, two, three, and a thumb to make four. So if you put three lines going up, you'd have four fingers and a thumb. Okay, let's move over to her other hand. We'll do the same thing. This time, curves going up this way. And the sausage thumb coming up that way. Like that. Try to do them too long. I think mine's a bit big. And this kind of, because there's a few scribbly lines, I'm going to rub those out. Then I'm going to put in curve that I was talking about and the line. And then again, the two lines for the fingers. Okay. Okay, so I want to finish this one up in a couple of minutes. So for the hair, you can trace around what we've got there, actually right here. I'm going to rub out a little spot and I'm going to draw a starfish. So one, two, three, four, five, a couple of dots on there. And you can draw some little wispy bits of hair like that. And just it's on its own, curving out like that. And then trace that line. And then as it gets to the end, you can break it up. And do some other little bits coming out. So before I just had one point up there and then I broke it up. So you can do that all the way along the hair. So down here, I could do another little wispy bit. So another, make sure it's in the screen so you can see it. Some of the little curvy bits. That. Turn that one up close. So that's on that part of her hair. And then the bottom part, I'll just sort of bring that down, follow it through. Start breaking it up again and then join it up. So it looks like a hair's sort of flowing in the wind or the water, the current. And that's pretty much a mermaid. You could draw a little crab or a little fish sitting up here. Some bubbles. A little fish sitting on the hand, or a little crab, or an octopus, or a shell, or something. There we go. So let's see how everyone's mermaid went. You want to hold up your pictures? If you have a background on. Oh, Gaia and Thor, that's really cool. Ivy, that's nice. Yeah, if you have a background on, you'll have to turn it off so I can see because it doesn't always work. Olive and Jonathan, that's really cool. Oh, look at all those wispy bits of hair, that's great. 
Callum, what happened to her face? She's got a black face. Just a black square for her face. <laughs> Shriyan, that's really good. Vani, yeah, great. Joey and Layla, it's cool. Clinton, that's really good. Good job, Clinton. All right, so we've done a mermaid. Let's go and do a monster now. As, just quickly, as I was saying, I'm just going to do this one really quickly. You don't have to follow along. But remember, we started the mermaid like this. And I said you could turn this into a snake person. I'll quickly do one like that. So you could draw this as snake head with fangs and the forked tongue coming out, maybe a cobra hood. See that? Could still have the arms, but then this could be a snake tail, could make it even longer. Give it a rattle on the end. You can have a snake person. So that was, that's the same basic skeleton we drew for the mermaid, but I changed it to a snake person. All right, so let's do a monster. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my favorite monster is a um, werewolf. But I don't know if we're gonna draw a werewolf today. Oh, could, so just, who just said that? Could we draw a soccer player? Callum, could we draw a soccer player next time? Yeah, we could draw that, but not, Oh, why don't we draw a monster that's a soccer player, Callum? Would that be good? Turn some kind of monster into a soccer player? Because I just saw that you've asked for a soccer player in the um, in the comments. Let me see. So, all right, let's do some kind of just weird mutant creature. So let's start with sort of a mushroomy shape. Bit of a lump on the top, circular on the top where you could actually draw a circle there and then add a square bottom to it. So you start with the circle and then bring a couple of lines down, one from the side of the circle, one from a little bit in and cross the bottom. So that's going to be the body. So the back is up here, the belly down here, legs are coming from down here. Maybe this could be a Frankenstein monster. So I think we want to do his legs. We'll do one leg out like that. Just going to draw stick figure legs. One like that. So he's running. So he's going to have like a shadow. Oh, pardon me. A shadow underneath there. Okay, so then I'm going to draw a line at the top. That's going to be the top of his head. So it's flat at the top. And then I'll come down under his... I'm going to, actually, I'm going to draw his head the same shape as his body, just upside down. So I'm going to come down and I'll curve it around with a little bump and then straight up again. And I'll rub out this line in between. So now we have his head, his body, and two legs. Has everyone got that? <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do his arms. I'm going to do one arm sticking out this way and one arm sticking out that way. So you can see, I'm going to make it thicker like this. So it's thicker at the base 
and pin at the wrist and this one, pin at the wrist and thicker at the base. Try and get both those in the shot. Aaron, have you got another question? Yes, Mr. Ivan. I was going to say that. Can we do our own monster? Uh, uh, can you do our own monster? Yeah, that's what we're drawing. We're going to draw like a Frankenstein monster. Yeah, I mean, like, can we do our own, mon own one? Oh, do your own one? Yeah, you can. You can. You can draw whatever you want, or you can even copy this pose, but turn it into something else. Okay, so we've got the arms, we've got the legs, we've got the head. Um, let's do, we'll zoom in a little bit and we'll do the face. Okay, so, well, my, my day. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line down here. Now it's not the middle, it's just off to the side a little bit. And then a line just above this curve here for the eyes. <clears throat> now that's gonna show me where the, the face is. Um, I'll quickly just go over here and show you what I'm doing now. So normally when we draw a face, we draw the lines like that, like across hairs, so we can see where all the features go, or if the head is side on, that line that goes sort of through the nose, is on the side of the head. So I know the nose goes there, the eyes go above and the mouth, I'm seeing half of it like that. And what we're doing here is we're drawing something that's in between. So this is front, this is side, and this is called three quarter. To so see how it's not, the line's not here, the line's not here, it's in the middle. And it's curving around the, um, the sphere of the head. So then if I put the eyes in, this one's gonna be a little bit smaller. The nose is gonna be here and the mouth is gonna be bigger here and a little bit smaller on that side. So it looks like the head's turning from front on to a little bit side on to side on. And I call that three quarter. And that's, that's why I've drawn the cross here a little bit over because he's not completely side on, he's not completely front on. He's a little bit side on. Okay, so let's draw some big brows on this guy. I might actually bring it up, turn it back up to the head so it sticks out a bit because Frankenstein monster has a big brow like that. You could even draw a scar down with some stitches in because he's all sewn together. I'll just put that up closer so you can see. And then I'm going to put his eyes in underneath. So they're going to be semicircles. Like that, just half a circle. So he's looking a bit mean. And then I'll add the pupils in, which are more half circles, but I'll color these ones in like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in his nose. I wanted to have a, a small nose because I wanna fill this area with his mouth. And big, oh, Olive and Jonathan, that looks cool. Nice teeth. <laughs> So for his mouth, I wasn't going to do his open mouth. It's usually I leave that much space to do an open mouth, which he could. He could be yelling, running down the field. But I was going to do this and have his tongue sticking out, like he's concentrating, kicking the soccer ball. You could show a little bit of his chin in there too. But what's going to make him look like Frankenstein is if he had bolts in his neck. Now to do that, I'm gonna draw an oval for the end of the bolt. Because the end of the bolt's bigger than the shaft part of the bolt. 
and then line top and bottom and then join them up with a curve. So it's like a little coin sitting there. And then from the sides, not from the very top, from in a little bit, two more lines and then a curve. So it looks like there's a bolt or if I look at it this way, like a nail going into his, his head, it should be a bolt going into his neck. So I'll just hold it up a bit longer so you can see it. <laughs> Paris is really good and uh, Gaia and Thor, that's, that's, I like his chin, that's really cool. <laughs> He's got a big chin, that's great. Okay, so we can draw a little ear on there, just a little curve with a line in it for his ear. And then we need to give him some hair. He just has a little bit of hair at the top, so we could just just do a couple of little spiky bits of hair on the top and come down the back. Uh, then maybe up the top again. And then I'm not gonna worry about rubbing up the line in here, because I just colored it in. I just shaded it in. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're just sketching. There we go. That's the Frankenstein monster's head. <laughs> Guy and thought that is great. I love it. Harrison's good, Paris and Callum, they're both really good. Yeah, great job. Okay, so zoom out a little bit. Just for his collar, I'm just gonna draw like a zigzag, like a lightning bolt kind of shape, as if his shirt's ripped. Um, and rub out the lines around that. You can see that, hold it up a bit. There we go. Um, Sajda, have you got a question? How did you do the second eye's eyebrow? Uh, which which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Um, I drew. I drew. Same with this one. I drew the line across the top of the eye first, and then a little curve up. But this one, I did a little curve and then the line out. And then I just brought it up and across to join the head. Okay. Okay, all right. So um, let's move on, let me do that. So I'm going to, that zigzag line I did there, I'm gonna do it around the sleeve as well, just so it looks ripped. And then you can, Fill in the rest of those arms and rub out the lines in between. So the line of the body and the line of the stick figure arm. Clean them up a bit. And to keep with the Frankenstein theme, you could somewhere on there, you could draw a, like his hand has been sewn back on or something. Okay. My page record on my teacup. And for the hand, we'll just do a very simple hand. We'll just draw some sausages. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Nice and easy. Do four or three, five, whatever you want to do. Now we want to make that, we want to give him a, a uniform, but we'll try and keep with the theme that 
Oops, not too big. Keep the theme that, um, you know, it's all ripped, like he's been dug up and sewn together. So for his, the bottom of his shirt, I might just do a, some rips and zigzaggy bits here and there. Like that. And we can put a number on the front. Um, maybe he's just a big zero. Like that. You could do stripes or something on there. Okay, and then we're going to go do this other arm, the same as we did that one. Except you're not going to see the end of it with this zigzag. We're just going to draw the two arms, those two sides of the arm with the sausage hand, and then you can do another stitch in there somewhere. Or you could do a couple of stitches. So there's the arms. One, two, three, four, five fingers. And I might do the stitching up high this time. And then I can rub out some of those other lines. Okay, so I've got his arms, both arms. You got his head, and we've got his body. So let's move down towards the legs. Move down a little bit. So let's start at his foot, this foot. Let's move down a bit, dark there, a little bit more light in. There we go. We've got two lights here, and it's never light enough. So let's just draw a really simple boot. So I'm just gonna draw a big curve around there with a little heel and join that up. Close. And then rub out the line in the middle. And we'll give him some little cleats, little spikes on the bottom of his shoe. Soccer, soccer boots have those. He just gave him three. And then he's going to have shorts on up his leg. So I'm just thinking, how am I going to do that? I might make his leg really thin at the, at the base here. So I might come up like this. And then I'll do an oval around. Show you that up close. And that's the inside of his shorts in here. And then from the edge, I'll bring that back up to his body. And rub out those inside lines. Maybe his shorts, how short his uniform doesn't fit him. So he could have his shorts down there and you could see his belly button. Then on the other side, let's start with the curve of his shorts. Bring that up. Maybe at the back here, we do a little curve for his bottom. And then the leg, thick at the top, thin at the bottom, but we're gonna have these knees sticking out as well. So like that. I'll hold it up in a second so you can see. Yeah, okay. Like that. And then at the back here, we're gonna then draw a little heel and a foot and put the cleats on again, the little spikes. There we go. Let's show you up close. Nice and simple. 
Here goes both his legs. That's good going on for. Just be careful you don't have your circle going all the way along. You want to rub out the bit that's in the leg. One side of the circle goes on top, one side goes underneath. So you won't see that bit in there. Paris, it's really good. Cool. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Because I thought what we could draw is a, a ball. Let's so rub these out so we can't see those. You could draw a ball that is kicking. I thought it might be funny if it was a, um, you could draw a zombie's head or a skull, a skeleton, skeleton's head. So maybe he's kicked a ball, he's kicking the ball up as he's running. So maybe about there. And I've got a circle now. I'm gonna turn it around so it's a different angle. Maybe I'll draw. A big eye and in here, another eye. See how I did that big curve in the eye inside? It's because I'm trying to draw a skull. So I want to leave a gap. So the skull's coming down here and going up here. And we don't have a line there. So that's it. And then I'm going to draw the skeleton nose, which is just like a little arrowhead. And then we have some teeth. You can do one missing like I have there, or you can just do a line and draw lots of teeth. Then we have a cheekbone. And then it just joins up to the top of the head. You can put a crack in the skull. And I'm going to draw the bottom jaw on the skeleton as well. So it's going to come down and around, up a little bit. And then I'll draw teeth along the top. Like that. And then I'll join it back up to the where I began. Like that. <laughs> That's cool, Callum. That looks really good. Paris looks great. Oh, that's really cool, Gaia and Thor. That's really good head. Ivy, that's oh, that's really cool. Everyone's doing such a good job. Shiran, yeah, that's good too. Wow. Joey and Layla, yeah. Aaron, it's cool. Wow. I'm just gonna draw the other side in that color is um inside of his mouth. Not that there would be an inside, but what I can do there, oh, nice mermaid, Layla. Um, what I can do here now is make sure it looks like it's moving. I can do some little action lines, even have it bumping up from the foot. I could even do a little flash, impact flash, as if he kicked it. Show that a little bit closer. That and then even to make it look like he's running at the back, you can do a couple of lines like that, or even coming off him. It looks like he's running, and then even shade in the shadow. Okay. Pull out a bit so you can see the whole thing. There you go. It's really good, Callum. 
Looks cool. Oh, Ivy, nice mermaid. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so do you want me, do you want me um, hold up and let me see what you've got? I've seen a few of them, they're all pretty good. Well, not pretty good, they're all really good actually. Well, Clinton, that's crazy. <laughs> Joanna, that's really cool. Yannis, that's great, yeah. That's so good. So good, <laughs> Olive, Olive and Jonathan. That's really funny. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. So um, we've only got a few minutes left. <clears throat> so why don't we? We could draw something really quickly. Why don't? Oh, that's Aaron. That's really cool. Is that a werewolf? That looks really cool. <clears throat> yeah. Good job. Um, I was thinking, why don't we draw a mermaid monster? So a fish person. Or we could draw a reverse mermaid because a mermaid has human head and arms and body, and then plus the a fish tail, right? Like that. What if we draw one that has the fish head? Gills, mop, mop, fish head, and then the human legs. So if that's a mermaid, would this be a, uh, I don't know, mermaid, mermaid. So huge fish, I don't know. Well, try drawing one like that. Let's see how, what you come up with. A fish head and people legs. Or you could mix something else up with the fish tail. You could draw, um, or why don't you give it like Ursula from the Little Mermaid? You could have your mer person could have squid legs or shark legs or crab legs, something crazy like that. Try and come up with an idea, and you got five minutes before the end of the class. Um, let me see what I can come up with. And get a bit of a. What about a narwhal? That would be cool. Because it's a unicorn. Sort of. It's a unicorn kind of looking face. I mean, a narwhal looking face, not a unicorn face. So a narwhal head with, what if it had a horse body like a unicorn? Oh dear, this is, this is terrible. So there's a, a narwhal unicorn. So it's an, actually, I think a narwhal's nose comes from down, a horn comes from down here, not from up there. Unicorn fish, that's weird. There is such a thing called a hippocampus, which is a horse head and the front legs of a horse. And then it has a fish body. Like that. So it's got the mane and the ears. So this part's horse and this part's fish. Oh, Emily and Bonnie. I like that. Squid girl. Like in um, Splatoon, if you ever played Splatoon, they look at squid people. <clears throat> Joey, what are you trying to show me now? I can't see. Is that the fish top? <laughs> That's very good. Very good. Um, let me see what I can come up with. Let's draw like a, a little, little chibi something.
little chibi boy. So he's got a little cute head, little body. Um, yeah, maybe little octopus legs. S standing on his, his tentacles, like legs. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. And then he's going to have arms as well. Um. Real quickly, give him. We can have a little shirt on, so he's not naked. No nose and some hair. There you go, little little squid boy. What is that? And I, I can't see what you've written there. That looks scary though. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Little squid boy. Um, and let's do the opposite. Let's do. Oh, we could do a fish like in SpongeBob. <clears throat> Just like that. Well, actually, the fish in SpongeBob do have human legs, don't they? Well, you got. Flippers, but they look like legs. Oh, let's give them some toes. It looks like we are out of time. It's going to have flippers instead of arms. There you go. Oh, I should have done half squid on top. <laughs> so it looks like a SpongeBob squid. <laughs> That's cool. Callum, hold that a bit closer. And up a bit higher. Wow. That's crazy. There's some great ideas people have done. Cool. We are out of time. So I hope you enjoyed that. Mermaids and monsters. We did draw a couple of different fish things, fish creatures. We drew a mermaid. We drew a monster. And then remember this one, the snake one, which was the mermaid body that we changed into a thing. So maybe try drawing that. Snake person. Wow, Callum, that's cool. Really cool. Gaia and Thor, that's great. Oh, you caught up with them. I was being really quick. I wasn't expecting you to copy that, but you did. Clinton, that looks really good. You got some great characters there, Callum. Yeah, that's great. Peter, are you, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, yes. Yes, we are out of time. Yep, thank you. Uh, I think we are out of time. I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, you have another session tomorrow, right? Yes, there is a session tomorrow at 11 a.m. And 11 we're doing themed 11. clothing. I think it's 11.30. Is it 11.30? I've got 11. Okay. 11.30, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right, okay. thank you. I'm going to unmute everyone to say goodbye to Mr. Evan. Aaron, they look great. Bye. 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 Bye.